Alright, welcome friends to the wonderfully exciting World Cup draw in Qatar 2022. This is an exciting moment. We are joined today for the analysis of this uh, FIFA World Cup draw with the one only expert. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself, my friend? Uh, yes, hello, I'm Retarded Caterpillar. Um, it's a pleasure to be here and with my Unseen Hubba, of course, your host. Um, so what do we have here, Unseen Hubba? So, what we have here is actually the group draws, and as you can see, these are the results of the final group draw. And, okay, let's just go and, um... Very start, interesting. Yeah, start analyzing each group. Okay, uh, okay. Like, individually, okay, so we can dive into yeah. the details, like, very, uh... Like, the very, very detailed details, Very right? in-depth? Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Okay, okay. So, I think if we want to start at group A, okay... Mm -hmm. Very group. strong group here. Very strong group. I gotta agree with Someone you. Calling it this, the group might of death be, this might be one of the strongest groups. What do you think about that claim? I mean, obviously, um, people on Twitter are calling it the group of death even. I mean, that's debatable, but it's a very strong group. Yeah, I got. I gotta say that that claim does hold some legitimacy, and you know. And if we look here, we have Qatar, the hosting nation, you know. Mm -hmm. I think I'm they, very interested at Qatar's performance. Uh, man, you know, Qatar, they've really grown, man. Like, you know, when you think of historical, like, uh, progress and significance, Qatar really isn't up there. But I gotta say, yeah. man, over the past years, they've really, really improved, mm -hmm. man. And I gotta say, they're my personal favorite to win the group. What do you think? Win the group. Okay, I thought you were gonna go say in the world... So win the whole cup. I, okay, okay. We'll get into like, that later. We'll get into that later. But okay, like, right okay. now we'll just focus on the groups and then we'll win the group. I mean, yeah, yeah. Qatar winning the group. Um, I'm not so quite sure about that because I think Ecuador mm. is a very strong competitor to that. I mean, so many good players. You know, the chemistry is absolutely astounding over there. I do gotta say the chemistry in the Ecuadorian team is quite astounding from what I've seen in the past. Mm -hmm. yes. Now there's another contender here, right? This one, I gotta say, I mean, you know, all around, there's a lot of good contenders, but in my eyes, the next top contender is Senegal, apart from Qatar and Ecuador. I don't obviously. know, man. Senegal, like, Africa is one of the hardest nations to qualify to the wor World Cup through, of course, um, but, like, they just seem lucky, honestly. Senegal? I think Netherlands has this third place. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, Netherlands, they really disappointed me in the last Euro. They they made it to the playoffs, man. But then they just blew with the Czech Republic, man. So you know, I mean, I, I would say that's a fifty-fifty. Yeah, I mean, the third place here in my eyes is a fifty-fifty. At at the core of it, though, you have to remember that only two teams go on to pass, really. So yeah, so it doesn't honestly, really matter. But I would say that the first two spots are most likely going to go to Qatar and Ecuador. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not certain of the order, though. This is the... I, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna go big here. Um, I think Qatar goes undefeated. Really? Wait, wait, my bad, man. Didn't you say Qatar... Sorry, Ecuador... No, in, in the group stage. Group? In the group stage. Oh, in the group stage. Okay, well, I think it's very likely that we'll see Qatar and Ecuador tie for top, actually. You know, a se in a 7 point. Yeah, yeah, in a 7-7? Seven seven seven? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mmm... I mean, it's possible. All right, you want to move on to Group B here? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we should move on to Group B. And right off right. the start, guys, we have a very, very top mm -hmm. team here. Two strong competitors here. Yes, but right, right away, the key contender, the key team here, in my eyes, the favorite of the tournament is the Euro Playoff team. I mean, this is just of course, a star, of course. star I mean, just a super team. Just a super team. I'm what what can I say? Exactly. I mean, like the amount of individual talent they have over there is absolutely is insane. My Some question is, top can class they football played over there. All this individual talent into a fully, uh, you know, uh, cohesive and very high chemistry mm -hmm. uh, side. You know, this is just something I can't. Uh, They're like the successful PSG. You know, PSG have a lot of talent, like a lot, right? Mm -hmm. But they yeah, can't yeah. really put it together when they're as a team. It, bro, I, I, I fully concur. I, I completely concur. Mm -hmm. But, but we, who we takes that. second here? Sorry? Who takes second? Okay, I mean, obviously, Europe, Europe playoff, playoff takes first, takes right? the top of the team, they're, right? They're my favorite to win the whole thing. Oh, yeah, I mean, same. Sorry. I agree. Sorry, I agree. sorry, second, second. I still Wait. have someone else. Okay, we'll, we'll get into that again. 
Right now, we just mm. want to focus on the groups. Yeah. But my favorite for mm. Group B is the Euro Playoff team. But let's move on to mm -hmm. the second favorite, which in my eyes will either be Iran or England. I got to say, the English no, team... No. I, I got to disagree with you here, Ansin Hubbo. I think USA takes second easily, comfortably. Really? Okay, here's my thing with USA, right? Is that they have not qualified mm. for Euro Cups in... Sorry, World Cups in quite a while. And the last yes, time that they but played in... Yes, everybody's going to underestimate them. You have to remember that. Sorry? Everybody's going to underestimate them. You have to true. remember that. This is what I'm saying. Is that this group is actually very like hard to predict, apart from the number one spot, which in my eyes is the Euro playoff uh, national... I mean, League. obviously, right? But yeah, I yeah. think USA has a similar run to Croatia in 2018. Yeah, I mean, I, I, could see, I could definitely see that happening. I mean, all of these countries have a, some sort of claim to being uh, competent. I mean, England made it quite far in the Euro, almost beating Italy, although they played quite horridly in that game, in my opinion. Iran, they have quite solid players too. I mean, they are quite a solid side. I mean, a lot Iran of people Iran is Iran. supposed to be reckoned with. I agree. But the USA is hard. also underestimated. So in this way, like Iran and the United States are like very similar. So honestly... But my favorite is Iran. I mean, I do second think could go to like all three, honestly. If That's England pulls saying. through here, it That's could go to anybody. This group, guys, you may want to but, look after this group. It is very, it is a very interesting one. But well, what's your top choice for second place here? <sighs> I gotta say it's Iran on my on my. All team. right, all right. I'll, I'll have to go to USA. But okay. Well, I, I can't see Iran. I, I can definitely see the US. I okay. can definitely see your choice. Okay, let's go into. Okay, group moving C. on to Group C. What, yes. what do we have here? I gotta say, bro. <sighs> I got a favor Saudi Arabia, although Mexico may may challenge that, but I gotta say Saudi Arabia I think takes In uh, first? Yeah, yeah, in first. I think Saudi Arabia takes Oh first. man. Mm-hmm. I mean yeah, I think I think with uh Messi getting gold, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, listen, man, like, you know, Mario Cardi, Latara Martinez, they're just not putting in the same uh work as they have before you know mm -hmm. like Di Maria mm -hmm. he's getting old man so I'm mean, getting old yeah I gotta say like Argentina is a team that's declining and we've seen that in this past several competitions Saudi Arabia the, you know they're new they're, they're oh, they aren't players. necessarily they're completely like, declining right they they still have some talent coming up here I and gotta there. say Argentina is a solid competitor for second place but I do not see them going up to the top of the group this is just something I gotta, gotta put out mm. there you know what I mean yeah yeah but you know Saudi Arabia has some uh has some you know, rising stars, so to speak. <clears throat> Poland. Poland's an interesting side because you got Lewandowski, who's still peak of his form, but the question is, peak can Lewandowski form. carry the side to, like, a uh, very good finish? Well, well, the thing is, Lewandowski has been doing this his whole life, right? Poland really is just Lewandowski, right? There isn't really anybody else. The, no, you can't... You, I wouldn't simplify it to just that. Poland definitely has some solid players and a solid lineup, but... At the end of the day, there's star players, just Lewandowski, who, in my eyes, is one of the best in the world, right? But the question is whether he can carry Poland to the second place finish, right? Because I'm not sure he can do so, you know? And who's taking first, Saudi Arabia? Well, I think it's I think Saudi Arabia is a pretty solid favorite here, in my eyes, just for a favorite for the first place, uh -huh. yeah. I'm gonna have to agree with you on Saudi Arabia there, but I'm gonna have to go with Mexico for second. Mexico for second, yeah. I mean. Yeah, again, this is a very difficult group to predict, uh, besides... You, you also have to factor in, right? These are all countries from different regions, right? Different styles of play, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, exactly. USA, like, has never really been seen in the World Cup in recent years, right? So, people don't really know their play style. Yeah, I, I can see that, yeah. And Iran as well, because USA and Iran are both very underlooked, and I've said this many times before, we'll... Love to see how other teams can deal with their playing style and their new rising uh, talents, mm -hmm. you know. All right. All right, you Group D. Oh, okay. Wait. Well, right up to that. I another... see a couple teams here that could really bring home the cup. Okay, now, I'd like to just say here that there's a big divide here, unlike the previous groups we've seen, between really strong sides and not so strong, right? Okay, so right off the bat, you have the IC Playoff 1 team, which... Of course, a of course. formidable, a formidable opponent. I would not say mm -hmm. their level of talent is as high as the Euro playoff team, but certainly it is a very but solid... But you have to remember, team. their style of play is more like chemistry, right? They're a very solid team, right? Yes, they know each yes. other very well. Yes. Yes. I, th this is Especially with a lot of them, a lot of them play together with clubs, you know, like, like fucking Chelsea, you know? A lot of them are on Chelsea. 
So yeah, like yeah. they know each other. Exactly, and this is this is what I'm saying. They're the, in my eyes, they're the clear number one favorite. Would you agree with that? You think like the whole? Oh, okay, the group. Um, um, yeah, I could definitely see that because Denmark. You have to remember, Ericsson has a little. You know, he had that health issue. Yeah, and the Euros. To see. I, so I think say, I see playoff one will definitely be number one. Yeah, I say without Ericsson's presence and the Denmark being mm. as strong, I'd say I see playoff one definitely. Yeah, but I'm more concerned about second place here. Like who? All three teams are you know i got to say that denmark is not the only contender for the, that number one mm -hmm. well, i see another contender. team here there's also tunisia which as we know is a very formidable side however in my mm -hmm. opinion they are nowhere near i see playoff one although we will see you know luck does happen in the sport of football you know i mean it always yeah very unpredictable time. like north macedonia beating italy like this yeah i'm telling you it it can happen and it's insane. So I can definitely see Tunisia pulling off a number one finish in the group, but my personal favorite, just uh, out of pure logic, is the IC Playoff One team. However, if we then do go, second place, you go. I would Tunisia? go Tunisia in the second place mm -hmm. of the group. Yes, I'm gonna have to agree with you there. I mean, Denmark and France. I, I don't really see anything. France has fallen off over in the recent years. Yeah, you like know, I mean, in my opinion, France is a team in the past. I mean, if you. Look at Pogba's performances. I mean, his performances. Pogba, were man, Pogba's old now. Like, yeah, exactly. What I'm saying he's is, he's getting injured way too much. And look I mean, at Manchester United, right? Six in the Premier League. Caliper, man. Let me, let me, let me say something. Um, right. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, okay. man. Go Pogba ahead. Pogba was at his peak performance at Juventus. He's good at Manchester United. Don't get me wrong, but his peak performance was at Juventus. Griezmann, his peak performance was at Atletico. These. Mbappe, you could still argue, is a top contender, right? But in my eyes, Mbappe, he's a bit overrated, you know? I mean, this is just my opinion, but, you know, if you look at his performance in, in like, the Euro, it was, it did not impress me, you know? It did not impress me. And so if I were to say, like, France will be lucky to get a second place finish here, will be lucky to get a second place finish here. Mm -hmm. I mean... France, yeah, I, I have to agree with you there. But you have to remember, they still have some talent coming in. But I, I just don't think they can pull through. Yeah, I gotta say, it's been a rough, it's been a rough journey for them. Would you like to continue to uh, Group E? My favorite group here. Um, you you can introduce them. All right. So as we see, this this is an interesting group, okay? Because we have a lot of like uh, very recognizable names, right? But also. In my eyes, there's also a clear favorite here. As we've seen, as we've seen in many of these groups, there is so far a clear favorite. We'll see in these last few, uh, not so much. But right now, let's just focus on Group E. In my eyes, the clear favorite here is the IC Playoff Two team. Uh, not I, as strong I'm gonna have as, to agree with you there. Yeah, yeah, not as strong as IC Playoff One team in terms of talent. But you know, a lot of their players do play in top, uh, top contender, <clears throat> top contender uh, clubs and. I just can't see Spain or Germany exactly, uh, you know, beating them. Well, you can't. You can't forget Japan. You know, Japan. After the leave of Yuto Nagatomo, I just can't see Japan. Mm. Pull. I mean, I no, no. Japan may pull off a second place finish, but my eyes, Japan will probably not qualify. If I'm putting it uh, bluntly, I do not think that this is Japan's time right here. I do think. Well, I'm gonna have to agree with you, right? Uh, I see playoff too. Um, we, we, I think they win the whole thing personally, but we'll get to that later, okay, as we said. Okay. But Japan, I think they get number two easily here. I mean, Spain and Germany, I mean, they aren't what they used to be. It's a new era of football. It is a new era. And, you know, I got to agree, but I still think that teams as such as like, uh, Spain and Germany do still hold some, uh, you know, formidable prestige. You know, I mean, obviously Spain had a very disappointing performance. Spain and Germany had very disappointing performances in the last World Cup. Um, we'll see if they, re they rebound, but I really think that that performance will draw them down. You know, it's really a demotivating factor within the morale of the teams. I've spoken with some of the players, such as uh, Mario Goetze, and, uh, you know, I just can't see that I've, I've noticed any uh, positive, uh, positive feelings or emotions out of them uh, upcoming yeah. for this tournament.
Right. That's also what I wanted to say for France, right? Um, mm-hmm. Their morale is down, right? Lots of is, uh, French players for PSG, right? And they just recently got knocked out. Especially Mbappe, key player, right? So I don't think they go far. Um, same reasons for Spain and Germany, really. I agree. Okay, so uh, what would your rundown of the group be, just in terms of uh, standings? It would be... Um, I see playoff number two, number one, um, and then Japan number two, and then Spain and Germany... Uh, it's a bit of a toss-up, but I think I got uh, Spain at number three. I see. That's that's fair. I think, personally, J- Germany will uh, edge out that number two spot, but you can't keep mm-hmm. Japan out of the equation at all. I think mm-hmm. they're a very solid contender for the, mm-hmm. the for the group. Um, okay, moving on to Group F. Let's see. We do have some... Okay, this group is actually very balanced. We do not have a solid number one, in my opinion. Um, right. Belgium very highly ranked, but again, yes, number do they two. deserve this ranking? I mean, I feel well, like you have to remember it's based on um, points, right? Ex- yeah, I and mean, wins. I just can't see this ranking being like fully representative of the nation's like abilities. Yes, and it all think, comes down to like a couple of game, a couple of games. Yeah, and I just think like Belgium's performances in the in the last Euro were just not up to par, in my opinion. I. I can, mm-hmm. you know, I can see them maybe getting a lucky second place finish of the group, but I can't see them taking it all. You know, like the number one in the group. I oh, look, can't see it okay. Um, you, I'm gonna have to agree with you there. Though? Yeah, Canada easily. Canada, I mean, I, their best finish group stage, right? Um, in 1986, but like that was pretty recent, right? And I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I think they have an in them this time to come through and take it all. But my question is, you think that Canada is the clear favorite here? Because I think, uh, you know, I think... Go ahead. I think based on the statistics and what we've seen so far from the the Canadian side, I Mm -hmm. think they take the dub here. Okay, fair. That You know, that's a fair claim. I mean, I think Morocco, in my eyes, will be up to par with Belgium. I think Morocco has a very solid chance of getting number two. Croatia... Croatia is also right, a Croatia. Fight. Can Modric do it again? <sighs> can he bring them to the finals? I or say, man, maybe even Modric, the Modric is like ageless, bro. But I, I just don't, I just don't see it happening, man. Croatia is a very old side. Uh, I yes. personally, I don't think they have what it takes. If I'm being honest. What about Morocco? Morocco, young side, rising talents, but right. You have to uh, remember they have Ashraf Hakimi. Yeah. They, Hakimi's a very solid player. Can he carry Morocco? Right. Although there are well, I think because of his well, young his young age, I don't think he has experience in the in like the yeah, leadership to carry the whole side. Yeah, but I, w- I I wouldn't leave it out. You know, I wouldn't count him out. You know, I mean, yeah. we'll have to see. This is what I'm saying. This group is very close, and I honestly wouldn't bet my money on any of any of these to on a finish just because I'm not sure at all how this whole group will go. I mean. We can make predictions, yeah. but this group is just so close. It's like you can't predict, honestly, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. All right, shall well, we move on to Group G? Yes. All right, so Group G, uh, similar story, more or less. Um, Five-time winners, Brazil. What do you think of that? And again, as as we've said before, they've never missed out on the World Cup. We're, like, okay, we're, we're, well. We're, Stop They've process. never missed out on the World Cup, but these are changing times, man. This is Qatar 2022. This, mm-hmm. Again, the question... The environment is definitely going to play a part here, too. You again, have to remember that. Yes, exactly. Can the Brazilians play in Qatar? I mean, Qatar has been using child labor for years. Can the Brazilians... Mm-hmm. How will this affect the morale of the Brazilian... Of yeah, the Brazilian... I can't imagine players? playing with a burden on my shoulders. Bro, I know, like, Brazilians, you know... I. Don't get me wrong, bro. Don't get me wrong, Mr. Otara Caterpillar. Mm-hmm. I mean, they've they're top like they're historic top team, but these are this is a completely different competition with yeah. completely different playing styles, with completely yep. a completely different level, a completely new level, a completely mm-hmm. lots of new teams here too. Exactly. So I'm saying so I think Brazil you could definitely count them to contend for that playoff spot in this group, but I would not at by any means uh, put them as a favorite. Um, I'm gonna have to agree with you there, Hobo. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Switzerland or Cameroon definitely takes number I one would here. Definitely, though. my friends, I'd definitely point out Cameroon. I mean, Cameroon has been solid the past few years. You can, mm-hmm. there's nothing in their play style or in their lineup which you can look at and say, "Wow, this is this is not good" or like this lacks. I mean, very not, solid team. 
I agree. I mean, they're not my uh, favorite to win this tournament. I mm -hmm. didn't, don't think that they're the most likely to, but I do think that they have a very solid team. And the, in my eyes, they are the best team in Group G. And if I were to bet, I would bet on Cameroon. Yes, but I don't think, um, I think only one team out of Switzerland and Cameroon makes it out of the playoffs just because that rivalry is so strong, right? And the morale is going to be tanked for that other team that loses. So really? I think okay. only one of them comes out of the group. Yeah, I mean, the Switzerland and Cameroon rivalry goes back a long way. That, that does make sense. Mm -hmm. Serbia, what do you think? What do you think of Serbia? Oh, man, Serbia. Um, it's a tough one, really. I didn't yeah. watch them play too much, but from stats, I know they are a solid team, you know? I will say about Serbia, uh, mm -hmm. they're not, they're not, they're, they're a decent squad. Uh, they do have some uh, historic su success uh, in foot and in this in these competitions. Um, I will say though, like Croatia, an aging side, right? And I wouldn't yes. necessarily count them out by any means. They're still a very s solid squad. They have shown um, they have shown successes in these tournaments, but I would not by any means point them out as the favorite of the group. Again, I think this is a somewhat close group, but I do think. My favorite to take it is Cameroon. And honestly, anyone could be in the second place. Or even in the first place. I mean, there's something and to that, say that That's Cameroon why this Cameroon. World Cup tournament is so interesting, right? I For agree, a lot of these yeah. groups, right? It could be anyone, right? Even if somebody were putting at fourth place, they could very easily go to second place for a lot of these groups. Or even first. I mean, who knows? I mean, True, true. Exactly. All right. Like, you they could be hiding tactics that they just aren't using for the, like, qualifiers. That's what I'm saying. All right. You want to go the on to the final group? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Uh, what do you think of this? Okay. There's certainly good squads and not-so-good squads, okay? I will say, though, I'm not very fond of the Portuguese national team. Really? I will say... Man, Mr. Hobo, I don't think you're giving the Portuguese side enough credit. Okay, listen. You can't dislike the What's Portuguese your side, right? Because yeah. they have one of the best players in the world, Cristiano Ronaldo. But I think yeah. that they've based their entire playing style around this player for the past... What has it been, man? Like, 20, mm. like 15, 20 years? I mean... A big Man, argument around Manchester out. United at the current moment. And, and where are they? They're at sixth. I mean, I gotta say, man, just Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, an amazing player, but I don't think he he has what it takes to win the uh well, you have to remember, decide. he's on pretty good form, right? He was out today um, against the match against Leicester. Leicester, yeah. Leicester. Yeah. Um, yes. For the flu, but he, he's on good form, right? Hattrick against Tottenham. Um... Is Messi doing that? No. You yeah. have to remember, he's one of the greats. Again, though, I just don't know if he'll be able to carry the squad. It's like, you know... But why is he carrying the squad? They have a good team, you know? I can't disagree with that. I gotta say, Portugal is a true contender. I mean, if not for the Korean Republic, I do think they would honestly be at top of this group. But, yeah. speaking of the Korean Republic... Very tough group here. What... What do you think of the Cre the Korean Republic in the, in, within this group? I think I think, I think they're, they're on the come up. I think they are definitely a dark horse of the tournament. Mm -hmm. um, they could definitely put a strong fight into this tournament. But do you think they'll be number one in the group? This is what I'm saying. I personally would. I don't know about that one, man. You know, I've uh, I yeah yeah. I gotta say, I do have confidence in this lineup in the Korean lineup. I can't say that the Korean, uh, the Korean Republic is lacking in some sort. I would say that they are a very formidable team. And that they have proven in the past to be a uh, formidable squad. I mean, we don't see a lot of like tournament success from them yet. But I do think that if we do see it, it will be within this uh, competition. Right. I, I'm pretty sure they did secure a fourth place somewhere along the line. But... um. Ghana and Uruguay, you have to remember, they are some strong sides, so you can't just focus on Korea, Republic, and Portugal. What do you think of the say, other two Uruguay, teams? Uruguay, Cavani, and Suarez are just, um, you know, they're getting a bit old, man. Mm. I mean, in the past uh, World Cup, they were a very formidable team. I mean, very, very strong team. But Right, a team I with history. Say, I gotta say, 
you know, where there's so many talents rising again, like I'm saying this again and again, but it's important to understand that with so many talents rising, I just don't see Uruguay being up top here. Right. I, I kind of see a common trend with Uruguay, right? They have a strong team for a couple of years, mm -hmm. but then they just fade away slowly until they build that back up. <laughs> that is an interesting point. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I do. I, I will they say do they have that experience, excited. though. What's up? They do have that experience for oh, the World yeah, Cup. They definitely do have that experience, yes. Will it be enough to... Uh, I, I'm not sure, man. I, we'll have yeah, to I just see when yeah. the tournament comes. My personal take is that it won't. they will not, unfortunately, grant a playoff spot in this group. However, yes. as we know, the competition is very unpredictable. Maybe they will. You know, I could be proven wrong here, but... Right, right. Okay, what do you think of Ghana? This is... Okay. This is one of the most interesting teams... In the group, mm -hmm. in the entire tournament. Let me tell you why. Because there's so much young talent, right? So yes. much pure talent. Like one of the look, youngest teams in the whole tournament. Yeah, you look at you look at teams like uh, Saudi Arabia who have so much young talent, but Ghana, you know, they've even more young talent, but they don't have that experience and that um, cohesion. Right. They don't have that leadership. That's what I'm saying, and so that, like a you know, couple of players that lead the squad, you know. And honestly, I can't see them really uh, pulling it together to an extent where they can really put something up big here. You know what I mean? Right. But, so, so, what is your final prediction for Group H? For this group, uh, I would say I gotta say Korea. Oh, second place, second place. So they're gonna yeah. be Portugal or Ghana, in my opinion. I, I'm going to have to agree with Korea, number one spot there, um, but I'm going to have to go with Portugal, right? I think they're going to qualify comfortably. Portugal, okay. Well, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I think Korea, Portugal are gone, and then Uruguay. I think that's a fair prediction. Right, right. Again, you can't... Before we get into the final winners, right, um, I, I just want to point something out, right? We have a lot of players, or this is the last World Cup, so I think the next World Cup is going to be very interesting, right? We have yeah. a lot of legends here retiring, possibly the last World Cup, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think next World Cup can be very interesting. I gotta say, man, you, you, you are correct in this. I mean, Messi, Ronaldo, this is likely their last, uh, uh, you yes. know, big competition. I mean, even Lewandowski, you know, I mean, you gotta say, I, I don't see that these teams will be, these legends will ever be in a World Cup again. And this is something uh, sad. But you have to keep in mind, these are legends of the sport, man. You gotta respect them. But they, well, yeah, I, I did hear some inside rumors, right? I had a recent interview with Ronaldo himself, right? Oh, yeah. uh, I did hear something about his return in the 2026 World Cup, but we'll keep that for another time. Um, we, yeah, yeah. That's do, who do you stuff. think is taking the whole tournament? All right. Well, if we're putting it like that, okay. My my t my thinking here is that the Euro playoff team will take it all. Yes, yes, a strong competitor. Um, yes, indeed. You really can't go wrong with that pick, but I feel like the strongest team never really wins the whole tournament. This is a good point. I mean, honestly, the statistical favorite rarely, like, wins these competitions straight out. I mean, these competitions are incredibly, incredibly unpredictable. Who do you, who do you think will win? I heard you saying IC Playoff 2. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm going to have to go with the IC Playoff 2. I've watched them a ton over the recent qualifiers, and mm -hmm. they just have a squad that's pretty much unbeatable. Like, going unbeaten in the World Cup qualifiers? I mean, you can't deny the the skill is there, right? That, they that are is, definitely a contender for the whole cup. That is, that is quite... You know, I, I was looking at those qualifiers, and I'm like, man, this team... And this is why this is why I was so like confident about them in this group rank, mm -hmm. and they're going to get on top, even above Japan and the other uh, solid mm -hmm. teams. I mean, Spain and Germany, they're still solid teams. I mean, they... Qual I mean, every... Uh, national team that qualified for the World Cup is solid, you know? Otherwise, they wouldn't be here. But, you know, this is what I'm saying. In my eyes, they're the clear favorite for the group. But I see Playoff 2 team also has good potential even to win the entire tournament. Again, not my personal favorite to win at all, but as we know, these tournaments, you can never really... Uh, yes, and you have to remember, right? The opponent matters too, right? One, one team could have, like, a really easy th run... Through the whole bracket, yes. But yes. the other team could be versing like top teams every single game. Exactly, exactly. All right. Any any last thoughts before we end it? Uh, are there? Okay. Is there 
any reason for which this tournament would be special or more special or different from other tournaments in your opinion? I mean, of course, Qatar, right? You have to keep in mind the location, the circumstances, and the time that the tournament is being played at, right? Mm -hmm. Coming off a of recent coronavirus, um, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how things go. I agree. Do you think the players will uh, run less because they're afraid of catching the coronavirus? Well, it, it all depends how they adapt, right? Sorry, um, I, I just, you know, I just can't think of Canada playing in Qatar, right? Like, it's just this polar is, opposites. I agree, yeah. You, you bring a good point here, yes. And, and this mean, would give teams like Tunisia and Ghana a slight advantage, actually. Yes, that's what I was going to say, right? Who is your dark horse for the tournament, right? Who do you think is the underrated team that is going to make it far into the cup? I got to say it's the Saudi Arabians or maybe Tunisia. Mm. I mean, Tunisia, Tunisia, you know, I can't, I don't have huge confidence in them, man. But if they mm -hmm. take it out of the group, I think they'll have a solid uh, claim for fame, so to speak. Right, right. I, I completely agree with you there. I think the Saudis have a really good chance at making a good run here. Yeah, I can't say anything else. Well, do you have anything else to add before we uh, wrap it up here? Um, that's pretty much it, Mr. Hobo. Thank you so much, Mr. Todd Caterpillar, for uh, joining me today on this uh, wonderful discussion on the Qatar 2022 World Cup. If you all have anything to comment, please comment it in the uh, comments section down below. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to Mr. Richard Catapult. I'll yes, link yes. this in the description. And uh, have a nice day, wonderful friends. See you later, guys.